so when we bought this property, I really only knew, um, Heidi and I really only knew um, the part that made one with one acre, which is um, what you and I took a shot of um, from across the pond, looking directly at that section. So I'd worked intimately with it for 20 plus years and then I'd never really paid attention to this far end. I mean, every now and then we'd made a little rosé out of it or, you know, took a little extra uh, fruit off of Rich's hands. But, you know, I, I never paid any real attention to it because we were busy with other things. And then what you see in the picture right now, those three blocks, prosaically called 10, 11, 12, were kind of unknown territory to me. And uh, I thought that we should really pay attention to whether we could make a single wine out of them. Um, and really try once we bought the property. So uh, what we did is the first year, because it's all a discovery, we had to pick the top lock first. But we weren't able to make a single wine. We had to make a couple different wines. But very quickly, that whole slope, which is west, or sort of actually northwest facing even in parts, um, has a whole, totally different character than one acre does. Much softer tannin, even though it's one of the steepest vineyards that I think we work at, at Litter I might be the steepest of any of the sites. Um, it actually makes a wine that has this wonderful, soft, sexy fruit quality and, and just doesn't, you know, the tannins are always gentle. It's, it's, it's a pretty remarkable wine and we picked that out right away. I think you and I noticed immediately that that character was there and it's quite consistent.